Welcome back to this project of painting an icon of John Calvin. In this session I'm painting the face and the hands of John Calvin. And to start with we are putting on a membrane of uh, skin colour made as usual from golden ochre, that's the main ingredient, and a tiny bit of terra vert and Ercolano red. And this is a, uh, a fairly dilute batch of uh, paint and I'm painting it onto the face and the hands uh, and it's taken quite a few coats but all the while being able to see the lines and shadings that have gone on underneath but now I've added a tiny bit of titanium white to the mixture so that I can begin the highlights. The first highlight is not much lighter than the flesh tone but it is noticeable and in progressive highlights I will add more and more titanium white. At this stage I'm using a number three brush which is reasonably large but I've got pretty good control of it because it's, uh, it uh, works to a point uh, very well. But a little later in some of the finer lines I'll revert to a very small zero brush. But uh, all of them are uh, Kalinsky so uh, they're very soft and uh, uh, that's uh, a flat brush to put on a, a glaze. Um, the white was uh, taken out a lot of the chroma, a lot of the brilliance of the, uh, of the yellow. So putting a glaze, that is a very diluted mixture of the flesh tone over the top with that uh, wide uh, it's a 14 mil um, Kalinsky flat brush. Just puts that um, colour back into the highlight. Uh, now using um, burnt umber and a very fine brush, just detailing the eyes, nose, mouth. Certainly the eyebrows have gone in. Uh, this most icons, uh, because they're um, uh, from where most of the saints come from, they have brown eyes. Uh, but uh, in paintings of Calvin, uh, he has blue eyes. My first go at uh, putting the uh, eyes in it was too blue, and I needed really to add a bit more or to make them greyer. Uh, and the whites of the eyes, um, just putting a little uh, terra vert into the into white uh, for the first uh, layer of the whites of the eyes, but then pure white, just a tiny bit on one side of the iris, the same side, and then I've used a straight black, Mars black, for the pupils and for the eyebrows. So now I'm working on the beard, as we can see, uh, using burnt umber. Firstly, a couple of coats of fairly uh, dilute, and then uh, putting in 
some some shading again a bit more glazing over the top now with some titanium white in the burnt umber starting on the highlights of the beard again progressively I'll be using more titanium white using the fine zero brush this one is a, a rosemary brush from uh, from England most of my brushes are uh, Rubloff brushes from Russia uh, but uh, this is the one I picked up when I started to work today the Rublev and the Rosemary beautiful brushes Again with, uh, with pure titanium white, just a few little highlights around the nose, around the up top eyelid, under the eye, top of the cheek, very tiny little uh, marks really with, with the white. Just gives it that bit of spark. And pure white on the beard as well. Just something more. This is of course uh, filming at uh, four times the normal speed. Somehow hands are not as easy as faces. Faces don't move as much as hands. So you get used to doing faces in a certain way. But hands can be in all sorts of different directions and holding on to things. And fingers are spread or they're together or they're held in blessing. And uh, so you don't get so used to doing hands in a particular way and getting them to look natural is, well, it's tricky. I find it tricky. Unusually, because I've actually never painted a hand in that particular posture that I'm doing just at the moment, and hovering over the page of the book. Never done a hand in that posture before, uh, but I'm happier with the outcome of the way it looks than with this other one, which would look to be much simpler.
Well, there he is so far. Hands and face pretty much finished. Um, certainly I think we might be coming back to the beard and the hands a little bit later on. Uh, but uh, next time we'll block in and highlight the clothing. Thank you for watching. See you next time.